Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has released an RFI on 1st of May for procurement of 20 remotely manned fast interceptor craft or RMFIC from registered Indian shipyards. The RMFIC is planned to be constructed from 2026 to 2030 in phased manner that is 4 to 5 ships per year. It will be a 17-ton class of vessel, which will be manned by one operator and will have life-saving capacity of 14 personnel. The vessel will be having a maximum speed of 45 knots and range of 200 nautical miles at 15 knots with 25% of reserved fuel. The RMFIC will be able to operate from a range of 40 nautical miles from coast. It will also carry out independent deployments for minimum one day at sea including surveillance around group of islands. It will operate in shallow waters and extreme tropical conditions. The RMFIC will feature one 12.7 mm stabilized remote control gun, two acoustic warning devices, two high power searchlights and one fixed loud hailer. All these armaments will be controlled remotely. Now, if we talk about the application of RMFIC, it will be used for carrying out waterfront patrolling of coastal areas, including harbor infrastructure such as command headquarters, naval bases, naval dockyards, breakwaters, naval jetties, etc. Inherent to this capability would be to escort high-value units while entering or leaving the harbor. It will provide protection to strategic assets located in the vicinity of naval bases and operate with force protection vessels and other craft deployed. In addition, the RMFIC will carry out interception of high-speed craft and seaward anti-terrorist patrols for security of coastal installations, naval harbors and own coast. Now, beside RMFIC, Indian Navy has already placed order for 12 autonomous weaponized boat which was inked on 5th Jan 2022 with Saga Defense. Saga Defense has gained expertise to develop country's first weaponized autonomous unmanned boat with capability of swarming. Last year, October, ahead of Defense Expo, DRDO have tested three remote unmanned weaponized boats in Pune. These boats were developed in collaboration with private startup Saga Defense Engineering. The vessel is capable of relaying video feed to ground control station and can be very useful for surveillance, reconnaissance and patrolling. It can be mounted with machine guns for insurgents operations. As per reports, the boat has endurance of about 4 hours. Currently, the boat can sail at a maximum speed of 10 nautical miles per hour, but this can be further increased to 25 nautical miles. Some variants of this boat use electric propulsion system with lithium-ion batteries while others have a patrol engine on board. The mission of Saga Defense is boat in a box to facilitate easier and safer unmanned marine surface vehicles, vessel command control technology, navigational instruments and telemetry systems which will revolutionize the future. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.